So today we'll be discussing about the WHO modified partograph, how to fill the partograph and the important points that you should know. So the first part you can see is the identification details of the patient where you will have the patient's name, the age, the period of gestation, if she has ruptured her membranes at what time. So all this comes under identification details and basic details of the patient. Now the next column that means this one and this one basically are regarding the fetal status okay so each small box is basically indicates 30 minutes on the x-axis the small box here you can see is 30 minutes so if the fetal heart rate is to be checked every 30 minutes the bottom limit and the upper limit are given and we all know that the normal fetal heart rate is between 110 to 160 beats per minute so every half an hour this has to be plotted similarly the next box is also for the fetal status that is the amniotic fluid Okay, so if the amniotic fluid is clear, this, this has to be documented once we, the membranes have been ruptured. So if the amniotic fluid is clear, we write here C. Okay, C, C. So whenever we examine the patient, okay, after half an hour, we check her pad and we see what the color of the amniotic fluid is. So we can have C for clear, we can have M for meconium. We can have B for blood stain, which is seen in abruption, and we can we can have A for absent, like oligohydramnios. There may not be any liker seen at all. The third column for the fetal status is molding. Molding basically means overlapping of the skull bones, which happens to some extent during normal labor, but excessive molding is bad, and this is represented as plus, 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 or three plus okay depending on the extent of molding this has to be filled here whenever we do a vaginal examination which is usually once in four hours now the main part of the partogram is the cervicogram and this is this part of the partogram which is basically cervical dilatation which is on the y-axis plotted against time which is on the x-axis so you can here see here these are big boxes each big box is one hour and the smaller boxes here were 30 minutes now, when a patient comes to us, okay, um, we when and we do a vaginal examination, we start plotting the cervicogram. Remember two things: we plot it after four centimeters dilatation. This is a modified partograph. Okay, the newer partograph that is the labor care guide now says five centimeters is the new active phase as per the WHO. But remember, we're following many places still are following the old the modified partograph. So here we take active phase of labor as four centimeters. And a woman is expected to dilate at the rate of 1 cm per hour. A primary gravida and multigravidas progress faster. So if we take 1 cm per hour and she comes at 4 cm, this line, the alert line is plotted accordingly according to this rate of dilatation. So she starts at 4 cm and after 6 hours, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, she is 10 cm. So this line, this is the alert line is plotted at the rate of 1 cm per hour. Four hours to the right of the alert line is the action line. Okay, so basically it itself suggests if the line is crossing the alert line, that means the we have to be alert. We have to find out the reason why the progress is delayed and take corrective measures if possible. But once the line crosses the action line, we have to take action. That means the lay that labor is now so prolonged that we need to deliver her urgently okay find out the cause and deliver her as soon as possible another important thing to remember very very important is how to plot the first uh, point so if a woman comes and she's four centimeters dilated say at 8 a.m so i will write 8 a.m here and the first marking is always on the alert line so i put a cross here okay Suppose she came at 8 a.m. and she was 5 centimeters. So I put 8 a.m. here and the first marking will be on the alert line which is here. Okay, so remember the first marking is always on the alert line. So suppose she came at 8 centimeters. Then I will start plotting not from here but from here. At 8 a.m. she is 8 centimeters. I plot it directly here. Okay, why do we plot on the alert line? Because before she comes to me, she came to me at 5 centimeters. Before that I do not know her progress okay so that's why we always start on the alert line and then we plot depending on the later findings so say she was at 8 a.m 4 centimeters and this is 9 10 11 12 at 12 when i see her 
she is say 5 centimeters so then I plot the next line here and then I join the two so this is now her curve so you can her, her graph so it has crossed the alert line and I need to know why it has crossed the alert line and take corrective measures okay so remember important points the big square is one hour we start plotting from the alert line the partograph as such is started we start plotting it after she is four centimeters dilated on the same graph we also plot descent of the head and remember descent is descent is based on abdominal palpation in fifths of the fetal head palpable that is five fifths palpable four fifth pal palpable three fifth two fifth or one fifth pal palpable so that is descent of the fetal head but the most important part of the partograph is the cervicogram next we have the column for contractions so here we can see that the contractions are plotted uh, based on uh, the frequency and the intensity in a 10 minute period so you can see every half an hour again we check for contractions you can see one two three four five so if the woman has say she comes to us and she's having two contractions in a 10 minute period we have to shade in two boxes and how do we shade in depending on the intensity so if the contraction is less than 20 seconds we put dots if it is between 20 to 40 seconds we put shaded diagonal lines like this and if it is more than 40 seconds that means the it is a good contraction we completely shade in the box so she, 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 she comes to us with two contractions lasting for 30 seconds I will shade it in like this see after half an hour it's the same okay say after that I do an ARM and the contractions improve say she's getting three contractions lasting for 40 seconds so I will now shade it in like this so this is how contractions are checked the remaining uh, boxes are pretty straightforward if we've started oxytocin the units and the drops per minute have to be mentioned here if we're given any drugs or intravenous fluids it has to be mentioned in this column and these are the maternal parameters her blood pressure her pulse her temperature which are to be checked every 30 minutes and a urine uh, albumin and ketones have to be checked especially in women who are preeclamptic and also women who are in prolonged labor or who may go into obstructed labor to check for dehydration that is why we do ketones so this is the partograph in brief